Ready Nation, what's the deal, man? Once again, it's your guy, Panama Fargo, and I'm back to y'all live with another episode of the Raider Rundown. Make sure y'all keep hitting that like and subscribe button, man. Keep helping the channel grow. It's much appreciated, and you know I'm going to keep coming with some more of that dope content. So without further ado, man, we got to get into the Lamar Jackson rumors that's been swirling around today and, and to see if the Raiders are connected and should they trade for him. Now, it's been reported that the Ravens have placed a franchise tag on Lamar. And it's looking like it is the non-exclusive tag. So teams have the opportunity to, you know, talk to Lamar, offer some uh, compensation or offer him a deal. And the Ravens have a chance to match that deal. If they do not match the deal, then the compensation to two first round picks and whatever Lamar is asking for in contract negotiations. Now, from what it looks like, that breakup is coming. I think that he will not be with the Baltimore Ravens this next season. Where will he be? Now, a lot of teams came out at first and said they're not interested. At least five to seven teams came out and said, we're not interested, we're not interested. Which we all know in the NFL is a lot of smoke screen shit. You know what I mean? The NFL likes to send out a lot of mixed messages and shit and shit so teams don't know what they're doing so the Raiders were one of those teams that said they were not interested now I believe me the Raiders should not trade for Lamar Jackson and here's why the Raiders should not trade for Lamar Jackson because we are not in the position roster wise to trade for Lamar Jackson you get what I'm saying now the compensation two first round picks that's easy you know what I mean I feel like we can give that up this roster is ready to give up that type of compensation now here's where the problem lies the problem lies within the money aspect you get what I'm saying we can't really shell out the amount of bread that Lamar is asking for or is probably going to be asking for with the roster as it is you get what i'm saying like if our defense was a little better if our defense was a little more stout i'd be okay with that i'm not gonna lie i'd be campaigning in the streets for it but thinking about it you know sleeping on it and just seeing all the all the shit that comes with trying to sign lamar as far as the money we're gonna be in cap space hell and not have an opportunity to really surround Max Crosby, Nate Hobbs, and some of these other guys on defense with more top tier players. So for that reason, I feel like the Raiders should not try to trade for Lamar as much as it hurts to see somebody like that on the market and us have to let it pass us by. I feel like that's what we gotta do. And, and if we're really gonna commit to the young quarterback route, fuck it, man, let's commit to the young quarterback route. At least we'll have the cap space to build a defense and if that quarterback don't work out at least we'll have the cash space to build a defense and more time to find another quarterback so that is my take man remember remember make sure y'all like and subscribe man to the channel keep helping the kid grow we're, we're growing so fast man and remember i always keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on a rated rundown